Welcome friends, in this one let's talk about the derivatives of expressions that look like e to the ax. So we'll take a look at some concrete, specific, numerical examples and then we'll extend it to pattern. So this is what I mean, okay? Very likely you know that, for example, the derivative with respect to x of e to the x is just e to the x. So that's the first step. Okay, this is shown in various books and so on. Then the derivative, for example, with respect to x of something like e to the 2x. Now we want to work on this. This is already a little bit different because when x goes in, first you multiply it by 2 and then you exponentiate. So this is actually, for that reason, going to need the chain rule. All right, so that means the following. You will say it's going to be, how do you do it? You take this, whatever this is, you copy it unchanged. So e to the 2x. But then, because 2x is a function, you have to multiply by the derivative with respect to x of the 2x. And once you complete that process, what do you get? Well, you're going to get e to the 2x multiplying 2, right here. See? And then that 2 can be placed out front. That's the conventional way of writing it. So it becomes there for 2 e to the 2x. So in other words, let's look for a relationship here, a pattern, something that we can take away from this lesson. Take a look. Whatever is up here, like this, it's the same thing in front of it, okay? Even up here, in case you think you don't, it's not there, it really is there, because you can always imagine this is a 1, this is a 1 up here, right? So this is a 1, and then this is also a 1 right here, you see? Okay, so look, look at that. Let's do one more here with that negative number. So... Imagine you differentiate with respect to x, for example, e to the negative one-half x. Same principle will apply, so you keep this. So e to the negative one-half x. First you keep that completely unchanged and altered. And then you multiply by the derivative with respect to x of this negative one-half x, like this, okay? And then you go through that a little bit, so it's going to give you here e, let's see, to the negative one-half x, and then you multiply by the derivative of negative one-half x, which is just negative one-half. So you multiply by negative one-half this way. And what's the big takeaway from this exercise? The big takeaway is that, again, let me stress this, whatever is in this position is the same thing that comes down to here, doesn't it? At this level, at least. So for that reason... Take a look. When you have the derivative with respect to x of e to the ax, now a is just some number that it represents, okay? For example, up here a is negative one half, here a is two, here a is really one. It's just some number, like with these numbers here. Then from that, you can get this nice pattern that tells you you can do this as follows. You're going to copy this part completely unchanged at first. So you're going to copy e to the ax completely unchanged, and then you multiply by the derivative, like this, with respect to x of ax, whatever the exponent is, together with the a, you multiply by that derivative. Now look, here, in the bottom, it says dx, it doesn't say da, so, because you're differentiating with respect to x, the a is treated like a constant. You see, like here, I differentiated with respect to x, and I just ended up with the negative one-half, I differentiated with respect to x, I ended up with a positive 2. I'm differentiating with respect to x, I'm just going to end up with the a. That's all. So I'm going to have, in other words, the following. e to the ax, and I'm going to multiply this just by a, like this. That's the only thing that is left over the a. And then again, by convention, the a gets placed out front. So you're going to end up with a, e to the ax. There you go. So whenever you, that's the rule, basically. Whenever you have an expression of the form e to the ax and you have to differentiate it, this is what you end up with, something like this, for different values of a that you might have for your particular exercise. And that's how you do this. So thank you. Please leave a like. Please subscribe. I hope it's been insightful, helpful. I'll see you in another video.